The father of a Poway High School student could get three years behind bars for leaving a loaded rifle in his kitchen with kids around. The result was the death of Luke Lipscomb, a 17-year-old lacrosse player. 10 News reporter Allison Ash was in the courtroom today as Kevin Brennick pleaded not guilty. Today here in court, there was no mention of who pulled the trigger, whether it was Lipscomb himself or one of the other two teens. Kevin Brennick wasn't even at home when that single shot was fired. Poway lacrosse player Luke Lipscomb would have turned 18 last week, but he died a year ago after partying with two friends inside this house in Poway, a house owned by this man, 50-year-old Kevin Brennick. It was Brennick's gun that killed Lipscomb. Mr. Brennick was charged with the unlawful storage of a loaded firearm that thereby caused injury or great bodily injury. According to court documents, Lipscomb, Brennick's son Clay, and another teen were smoking marijuana out of a bong like this one. It was laced with something hallucinogenic, possibly spice, and it made Lipscomb act crazy. Clay Brennick stepped out of the kitchen to dial 911. When he returned, he found Lipscomb on the ground bleeding. Brennick's father's rifle at his side. What's so different about our son that he doesn't deserve proper investigation and enforcement of the laws? Last spring, Lipscomb's parents complained that no charges had been filed in connection with their son's death. They demanded action. Now, months later, the district attorney charged Kevin Brennick for leaving his gun where the teens could find it, resulting in tragedy for Luke Lipscomb and his family. Kevin Brennick was ordered to report to jail this coming Sunday to be booked and then released. He returns here on December 11th for a preliminary hearing. From the Hall of Justice downtown, Allison Ash, 10 News.